And we're back again shooting on the same day, but you won't know that. I just shot one video right before this. Now we're doing another one. And today, uh, we are doing review on a little movie called Doom Asylum. That's the name of the movie, right? Yeah, I think it is. Uh, from the 80s, I believe 88. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. But, um, yeah, I watched this, uh, one night ago with my friend John Steele. And, um, yeah, let's get into this. So, Doom Asylum is about this dude. Uh, he just, uh, won a court case or something. He's driving with his girlfriend. They're about to leave her kid behind. They're about to, you know, stick her kid in boarding school and run off to Vegas and have the time of their lives. They get in a car crash because of a deer? I think, I don't remember, but they, they get in a car, or was it a truck? I don't know. They, they weren't really paying attention. They end up in a car crash. Uh, the girl was horribly mauled and dead. The guy's... All right, it looks like when he gets out of the car, but then we end up with him in the corner office, and he's all fucked up looking, and it's it's really confusing. But if you watch this movie, um, yeah, it's gonna be it's one of those movies. It's like yeah, don't question it, just just roll with it. So later on. Uh, years later, the daughter of the chick, uh, rolls up to the, uh, asylum. Where did, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, the guy woke up. The guy woke up that was in the, uh, the, the guy from the car crash. He's all fucked up. He kills the doctors. And then, uh, yeah. Ten years later, the daughter of that chick... With her friends roll up. And my friend John pointed out. This is essentially the Scooby gang. And uh, they roll up to the asylum. Which has been taken over. By three. Rock and roller chicks. Like one's like a Russian. Buwaji. Kind of like. You know rebel. Kind of like. Uh. Russian revolutionist. Then you got like. This African American chick. Who's kind of just love struck. Nothing really else to her. Then you have the main chick. Who is like. This like. Kind of like 80's. Exploitative. Biker chick, kind of, with really long hair, and kind of a warrior chick as well. She has this, like, wicked witch of the West laugh she keeps doing over and over again. Yeah, man. And then, in our main group, that is essentially the Subi gang, we got the smart one. The smart chick. The, the the leader the leader dude who's kinda stupid who is dating the the chick the, the, who's the daughter of the lady that died who calls the guy mom for some reason. Um then you got the the black dude. It's like silly goofy uh uh black guy. Who obviously falls in love with the black chick. And, um... What I can only say is, like, a dollar store Rick Moranis. That's the other guy. Who likes baseball cards. And I feel like a couple of these characters are played to be on the spectrum. Even though this does say horror comedy. So, obviously, it's kind of a parody. And yeah, the, the coroner of the asylum, the dead guy from earlier who came back and killed the doctors, uh, starts uh, attacking them. 
and murdering them. And the, the special effects are fucking brilliant. Fucking brilliant special effects. Beautiful. Beautiful special effects. Really good. The kills are fucking awesome. Fucking dope kills. It's just the dialogue and everything else that happens. It's so fucking random. It's just shit's just happening. There's no... Don't try to follow this movie. You fucking won't. Shit happens. If you took anything of what I said earlier and, and how weird that is, it's like, you know, don't... Don't try to follow this fucking movie. And, um... It's just... The, the characters are very over the top. Some crazy shit happens. One of the chicks doesn't even get killed by the fucking killer. She accidentally turns on this machine after defeating the killer. Falls in. And then another character can't turn off the machine. Because they're too dumb. So she gets grounded into a cube. And you can see her hands sticking out and her fucking shoes sticking out and shit. <laughs> it's fucking... It's like she didn't even get killed by the fucking killer. She got killed because she fucking turned on him because she's fucking clumsy. Uh, there's a lot of just random fucking filler moments which are, are kind of funny. Of, you know, you got the two African American characters having their little love segments of like running towards each other and envisioning each other. Um, you have the rock band chicks singing, which isn't even singing, it's something that has to be experienced. You have to experience this. This movie in general just needs to be experienced. It's a it's a it's a mood, man. It's a it's a fucking mood. Um but it's also fucking brilliant in a way. Um you will not forget this. It's just a really, really silly, silly, silly movie. That's what I could say about this movie. Shit just kind of happens. Like, there's one part where the uh, punk chicks fill up condoms with, I think, water? I don't know what the fuck it was. And uh, throws them at the, the, the opposition. At the, at the kids. Why did I, the, the kids that came there. Why did I say opposition? God damn it, I'm turning into the, into the fucking bourgeois, bourgeois fucking revolution chick from the movie. With her little spray prank and spray and everything. Down with the... Fucking chick, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Like I said, it, it's fucking crazy movie. It doesn't just this movie is fucking. It's a thing. It's mood. It's a fucking mood, man. You you need to check this shit out because it's just. It's just something. That should be experienced, I believe. Because it's so weird, so stupid, so silly of a of a slasher. It's obviously a slasher. But it's just... It's just... <sighs> I don't even know what to say about this fucking movie. It's just... You know... You know, it it's, uh, it's worth the, the checkout. Definitely. We we have a battle between I believe it's like a metal pipe and an axe that happens. It's pretty cool. We also it's like we also have deaths from like face melting and an acid um I think it was like uh an X, what was that, like, some sort of blade or drill to the face. Like I said, someone accidentally turns on a machine and is, like, crushed and turned into a cube. And shit, just... 
A lot of cool depths. A lot of cool depths. Like the, like I said, the special effects are on par, especially with our uh, evil killer character. He his face is all makeup up and shit. Highly heavily disfigured in a really good way. Reminds me a bit of Hellraiser in appearance. Uh, a little bit like that. Not a lot, but a little bit. Um. But yeah, this movie it just don't just shut your brain off and watch and have fun. Don't try to uh, add logic to this movie. This movie will, you know, this movie's allergic to logic. If you add logic to it, you're gonna ruin it. You just gotta watch it and accept it for what it is. A dumb, 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 dumb movie. But I do think there's some self-awareness here. I do think the movie knows what it is. I do not think this is like a Troll 2 situation or something, or The Room. This movie was trying to be bad. This movie was trying to be funny. It is labeled horror comedy after all. I did look that up. So, yeah. Man, don't, don't be too harsh on this movie. Because it's just... It's just being what it is. So, I give this movie, I really enjoyed this movie, um, what I put as average in, was 5 average and 6 is above average, I think. Or 7 is above it. I don't know. I'm going to give it a 6. I'm going to give it a solid 6. It's in It's in the in-between road. I like it. I like the movie. I have fun with the movie. I think it's a really good. It's, it's a good time. So yeah. You guys have a good day. Stay frosty. This is Trenchy signing off. Beep up boop.